there guys, so I left Perth, a couple of hours ago, heading north. Um, bit of a last minute decision to head off before this uh, moon gets a little less desirable, so I'll hopefully get a couple of nights fishing in. Uh, hopefully the wind's not going to be too bad, and the weed, well, just see how it goes. So heading up towards Dungara, Geraldton, I'll just pretty much wing it and see what the water's doing, but this stage we've still got a couple of hours driving to go and it's just after five now so pretty much going to get um, get dark as we get there so I'll have to quickly try and set up and get some lines out um, try and fish that evening tide and uh, see how we go so basically or uh, well hopefully I can yeah, find some decent water before it gets too late and have a bit of a crack tonight otherwise it's going to be uh, tomorrow's effort to find somewhere so yeah probably shouldn't have left it so late but we'll see how we go but shitload of weed. I found a, thought I found a spot out there of no weed, but time I set up, went to cast my rod, a shitload of weed come through, so I don't know, I think tonight might be a right off. It's a bit late now to find another spot probably, but I'll see what happens. I'll try and persevere with this for a while. Hopefully it'll just calm down once this tide turns and starts going back out. I'm not really going to attempt to get out now. Tide's pretty high now and it's still coming up. And as you can probably see up there. Oh yeah, that's really coming up. It's even sketchy where I am there. I haven't left enough much room, so it comes up much more. I'm going to have to shoot up the bank there. I can't get out because the tide's blocks off the road up there. So I'm pretty much stuck here for the night. So I don't really want to risk going through there. It was hard enough on the way in. Sort of had to give it all hell to get through. Um, so yeah, I've committed now. Just hope this weed clears up and it's worth the night. Otherwise, I'm gonna to have to find somewhere I can park up safely for the night and throw this swag out, probably up on this little bank here, but even then it doesn't, doesn't leave me much room. But, oh well, it's fishing. Let's see how we go. Some little fish on there. In amongst all this weed, I've got a fish of some sort. Little tailor, is it? There's two. In amongst all that bloody weed, I got a tailor. Let's see if he took any more hooks off. He's fighting against the weed more than anything. Oh no, he got that. And hook, which is good. Right on the lip there. On that back 7 circle hook, so... He didn't bust me off, luckily. Good hook up, he wouldn't get off that in a hurry. Be good. Oh, 40 centimeters easy. I'm gonna keep this one because I don't know how much bait I'm gonna have for long. Sorry, mate. It's gonna break your neck and bleed you at the same time. Right 
probably in the shallows that one because this weed's bloody pissing me off at the moment. I've got one rod out of the water at the moment because I just keep getting weeded up. So this one went in about four foot of water where it's going to go back again now. Well, bastard Taylor took my hook that time. Thought I seen a hit. Bloody problem. These little bastards. Normally they piss off this time of night, but there's a bright moon out there now at the moment, so it's just got them feeding right now, so just keep that a single hook and I'll uh, put a mullet fillet on that, eh? Or a chunk of mullet. Oh no, just cut a small fillet. Not even a fillet, more of a chunk with the tail. Off a mower. Just the one 70 circle hook. Let's see how we go with that bad boy. So, got up early this morning, threw a couple of rods out, but just weed and shit everywhere again, so didn't have much luck. Sorry about that. Uh, so I kept heading north, had a bit of a uh, metal tag along the way. Found some pretty cool shit actually, but anyway. Uh, kept heading north, heading up towards Lucky Bay sort of direction. Um, so you're gonna see what the water's like there and probably stay here for the night, so it's just five o'clock now, so Check out the beach, see if I'm finding the gutter, set up and uh, settle in for the night. So we'll see how we go. Hopefully uh, we'll have some more luck. Not uh, have to fight weed all night and I'd rather sit there and catch fuck all and drink some piss rather than pulling weed in all night, but we'll see how we go. Anyway. Well, I'll try one of my other spots, but rough as guts so I can't even keep my grapnel sinkers landed and there's freaking weed so I'm gonna have to take plan C and move again tide's coming up sun's about to go down it's prime time which I'm spewing about but it's gonna take me I'm going to sort this shit out, get to the new spot, probably an hour. Hopefully I can get there just before the sun's down, get set up. Uh, but yeah, this is a shit show at the moment. So, just going to have to suck it. No point staying here and fighting it, because it's going to waste more time and end up moving in the pitch black, so... Bit of pain in the ass because probably uh, about 10k up this beach and it's a pretty shit beach to drive on as well. No one's here. It's a pretty remote beach usually, but which I like, but that's because it's a hard beach to navigate. But I'm just going to do this a quick way anyway. We'll hopefully. See you on sundown, new spot.
Yes. Not bad, eh? Only one on the beach. You weren't the one that almost pulled my rod in. Gee, that's a decent sized tailor. Gee, that's decent. If it's a tailor. Jumping, kicking. Oh, he's not even that big. Oh, he's foul hook, that's why. It's foul hook, boy. Take my other rod. What the hell is that? Is that a little snapper? Surely not, must be tar line. It's like a little tar line. Hey, mate. Four, a little tall one, right? I'll let you go, champ. I think this might... I don't know what this is. Shoot a big tail, but it hasn't jumped. What the hell? Is that tail? Oh. Yeah. These things are going off tonight. They're loving the belly. Bellied up pretty hard. Some oil and some. Old muleys as well, but actually keep these guys because I'm gonna make a uh, oh a fish curry out of them. Oh, I just gotta double check, make sure this one's not 50 because I already got one over 50. I don't think he is. Under 50, 45 or something. But I'll double check him. Double check, just make sure. Oh, not even like. Yeah, 40, 40 centimeters. I just cast this out. I didn't even get to set my drag, and it's getting smashed. 
trailer. Oh, he just got off. Oh, he's a big bastard. <laughs> Fairly big. I don't even want to bite my fingers while I'm trying to grab me into the water. Sorry, mate, but keep it here. Must have just had him hooked. I didn't know. But that literally, that bait only hit the water. I was trying to set my drag and I could feel it smacking on there. He's bloody hungry tonight. Coming up to the full moon. They are very hungry. So much from me my way fishing. But my mully spot was weeded out on both of my mully spots. So pretty much just had to come here, get out of the rough weather. play with these guys and hope that a mully comes through I was hoping that a shark was going to come through so I put a wide trace on my big surf rod and you're a big boy I'm going to have to check you make sure you're not my second over 50 centimetres Four ninety. Forty nine centimeters, boy. We seem to have another one. Oh, one more, I'm gonna be bagged out, so I was hoping I was gonna get my PB because it's got one over 50 so far but I'm keeping these guys because I'm gonna make a big Taylor curry I don't even know where I'm gonna measure this guy but where is he 38 good eating size sorry mate Here's my smallest one yet. Well, one more and I'll call it a call it a shift. This thing's got some kick in it. My next one over 50. lucky because I hooked him in the gut that's why he felt big he was foul hooked well he's still a decent size 
Sorry, mate. Forty-two. All right, that's my fish carry done. I've got my bag limit.